my name is Beck, and welcome to my spoiler-free review of Stormfront. This is by Jim Butcher and it's the first book in his long-winded series called The Dresden Files. And to be honest, I really, really enjoyed this book. I ended up giving a four and a half out of five stars and I listened to it on audiobook, which I would recommend doing because James Masters, in my opinion, did an excellent job of the book. And that's why this book might look a little bit funny. It's because I actually got to meet James Masters and he signed the cover. What sold me on picking up this book in the first place, because I know it's a fairly long series, is actually only two words and they were wizard detective and we end up following our main character named Harry Dresden and he is a consultant to the police force and at the beginning of this book three different things happen that are three different tangents for a mystery element to the story. First up he gets a call from his police contact and she calls him into a murder scene and she has directly involved him because even though she usually wouldn't and people don't really believe necessarily in the fact that he knows how to do magic the murder could only really happen by magical means and so he's reluctantly called in to help them investigate the crime and to find out how these people were killed. The other thing that happens at the beginning is that Dresden gets a phone call and he's been asked by a mysterious client to help figure out where her husband has disappeared to. She believes he might have been taken or killed and she doesn't know where he's gone. So there's that element as well. And then the third element is that when Dresden is walking home by himself after this brutal murder investigation scene, he's, I want to say, mildly kidnapped because he's taken and then threatened and then deposited back on the street. So these three elements are what inform the the beginning of the story and I love a good mystery element. I'm somebody who really really enjoyed watching cop shows like NCIS when I was in my teens so reading something like this that had different elements of a crime potentially connected but you're not quite sure start at the beginning and then begin to unravel especially when there's magic involved as like an extra cherry on the cake. This is what sold me on being interested in this series and I was 100% hooked. So while all these story threads are forming and you're finding out more slowly and slowly like Dresden our main character this this is also an urban fantasy which means it is set in our world with things that we can relate to like obviously there are cops it's set I think in Chicago and it also has modern technology so these are all relatable elements that we would associate with our time but it's also obviously got a magical twist to it as well and you find out pieces of this as Dresden starts to uncover different parts of the mystery because he has to lean on his knowledge of magic in order to investigate. I really liked that it wasn't an information dump of what the magic system was like it was getting to know the magic system through Dresden's use of it and he is not necessarily adept at every part of it he needs help and that is explained at kind of the start but I don't want to give it away because it's kind of funny so he does magic but he's also responsible for staying in line because magic has specific rules and there's a white council that enforce these rules so through Dresden's one-liners and his internal monologue you realize that he's had a run-in with the council before and there is a character directly linked to the council that he runs in with but you don't know the context of what's going on so I think that is going to be explained in other books but I enjoyed the teaser of that that came through in the first book and it was enough for me to understand that something was going on but not understand it completely and it made me want to continue to unveil more of what happened. I do also like that because obviously magic is such a fantastical element technology doesn't really like working for him so when he tries to use his phone and that kind of thing it really just doesn't work for him and when he goes in to meet with a police force they have to turn off all their computers because if they don't he's going to bust them just by existing existing near them and I thought that was hilarious and also a really interesting kind of tidbit to add that balances out the magic use in this book. So already with the magic system unraveling in here and the murder mystery becoming more and more apparent in here as well it was a very fast paced book and that's what I really wanted in a first book in a series especially a series that's like 17 or 18 books and ongoing. I wanted a book that was really quick and engaging and that's what this book really delivered on and because of this fast paced nature some things that Dresden got into some of the situations seemed quite absurd and I really had to suspend my disbelief but it seemed to fit really well with his character and just what would happen in general because he seems to live quite a seat of his pants lifestyle so the absurd situations made a little bit of sense with his character I still noticed them sometimes they took me out of the story a little bit because I'd be like what they fitted with the character they fitted with the theme of the book and they fitted with the pace of the book which was quite quick in general as well so I don't really have a complaint but that's just something I noticed that said though because the pace was really really quick Dresden's character is the one that you stick with the most because it's from his perspective so he's really the only character that gets primarily built up in here and I would like to see more of the cast of characters around him get built up but it kind of paints him as I guess an unwilling hero kind of character that's also a bit roguish and doesn't go by the rules so I like that trope of the rogue character and I like the unwilling hero character and that's what hooked me and compelled me to continue reading the books in the series because I like his tone of voice and I like 
like his reactions to things, but I would like the other characters around him to get built up more, especially the women, because I feel like a risk with a heroic character is that all the characters around him end up being versions of damsels in distress and they end up being saved by him a lot. And I like characters being built up in books and to have their own agency. So I'd like to see more of that built up across the series, but because we're establishing so much in this first book, I understood that that wasn't necessarily something that could be done to a degree of detail that I wanted. So I just wanted to put that out there. I did notice that Dresden was the main character that got built up and there were a few characters that needed saving around him, but I hope that's not always a trend going on in the book. If it is, it doesn't bother me too much, but I would like to see more development. And speaking to the damsel in distress kind of nature of some of the side characters in here, there was an instance with a love potion that again, I found quite absurd and it was a little bit iffy at the time, but also nothing really happened and kind of a comedic moment was made of the situation rather than it being taken advantage of so it did take me out of the story a little bit when I read that scene because it just seemed so absurd like something I'd read in a fan fiction or something but I don't really mind in the long run because I think that's just our character getting his grounds and the writer Jim Butcher establishing that absurd stuff happens to Harry Dresden quite often so we're just gonna have to roll with the punches. I have written in my notes that Harry Dresden is quite matter of fact with his humor and he tends to land on his feet just by chance and that's what I really like about his character because you can't really predict what he's going to do next and I love stories obviously that I can't predict and I also didn't guess the murder mystery plot which was a huge plus for me because usually I can see that kind of stuff coming and I can pick up the red herrings but I didn't do that in this book and I'm really happy that I didn't and then I got to the end and the big reveal happened and I was like holy crap so overall this was funny it was fun and engaging it was a really cool setup to a ongoing series I couldn't find any faults with character and pace like I said except for the damsel in stress thing with the heroic character but I think because Dresden is such an unwilling hero and this is such a long series we're going to see characters recurring so there'll be opportunity for more development later so I did really like the magic combined with the edge of your seat scenarios and I will definitely be continuing because I've heard that these books are an absolute riot and Jim Butcher wrote this when he was quite young I think in university so obviously they're going to grow with his experiences and grow as his writing grows and I can't wait to delve more into what he's written. I really really loved the formula of this book. I loved the rogue character, the murder mystery and the magic and I will definitely be continuing. I really like this first installment in the series and I really like the narration by James Masters. I found it really really engaging so I'm probably going to continue this series on audiobook and if you're looking for a low fantasy, so a book that doesn't have too many fantastical elements but just a sprinkle of them, I would recommend this. It was a really really fun read. It was really really fast paced as well so I didn't really have time to be bored so I would recommend this. Again I gave it four and a half out of five stars and let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you're thinking about reading it. I would really like to hear what your thoughts are as well because I saw this book floating around for a while and I just didn't bother to pick it up and I don't know what I've been doing because I've missed out on all this time. So I'm glad that I'm into it now and I hope you pick it up as well. So thank you so much for watching. I will chat to you in the comments and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.